It's time to fix your bent arms in the golf swing for good. And I'm going to share with you today an extremely simple tip with the help of an extremely cheap training aid that's going to completely transform the way you think about how to keep your arms straight in the golf swing. Bending arms throughout the golf swing is a complete menace for the average golfer trying to hit the ball more solidly because flexing arms throughout the swing mean a constantly changing radius of the swing making it the most difficult to consistently strike the ball solidly and any good contact you are achieving only lasts for a very short period of time it's extremely fleeting because as your arms keep flexing and changing the height of your swing arc keeps changing and therefore contact just isn't as consistent as you want it to be when it comes to keeping the lead arm straight in the backswing most people make the mistake of trying to keep the lead arm itself straight. Very few understand the true mechanics behind this and it's the, actually the right arm, the trail arm, that is responsible for the left arm breaking down. So a right arm that flexes too much in the backswing will cause the left arm to overflex and you start to get this picture right here. So the trick to a straight lead arm at the top of your backswing is a trail arm that doesn't flex too much. Does the right arm flex? Yes, it does. The right arm does not stay dead straight. Do not misunderstand me. But a right arm that flexes anything here beyond 90 degrees starts to become a problem and causes those arms to collapse and start to break down. So the first thing you should be thinking about if you're trying to keep your lead arm straight is actually getting a sense of what it's like to keep your trail arm straight. And with the help of one of the cheapest training aids you could ever imagine, I'm gonna share with you an exercise which is really simple to try and help you restrict the amount of trail arm bend you have in the backswing. So here I have on my trail arm a armband, at least that's what they're called in my part of the world. I know many of you watching will know them under a different name, maybe a water wing or a floaty, whatever you call them, this is what you're going to need. One of these things blown up, inflated and pulled just above the elbow of your trail arm. And there's a little bit of trial and error here when you try this in terms of getting the amount of inflation correct here. So how much do you blow this up? But ultimately what you want to get a sense of as you start to move this arm back, if it's inflated correctly, it's going to limit how far I can bend my arm. I can feel that there's quite a limit there, there's quite a restriction at about 90 degrees, that would be a really, really good place to start. If it wasn't inflated enough, you'd still be able to bend your arm too far and obviously that's not gonna have the desired effect. And if you blew it up too much, you may restrict the arm movement in too great a, to too great an extent. So a little bit of trial and error, but once you get this on your arm and you start swinging back, you're gonna really notice that once this right arm is restricted and it can only go back and flex so far, you're gonna sense that that lead arm staying much, much straighter in the backswing. Of course, once you've practiced a few of these, you're gonna be able to hit balls with this exercise. It's really good, it keeps your, keeps your arm structure where we want it, but you're also free to go ahead and hit shots with it on. So yeah, I get a nice sense in the backswing there of just hitting a point where Okay, I don't want to go any further than that. My arms are in a good spot. I come down and make good contact. So really, really simple concept. Another great feel here as you're doing this is to almost feel like your right arm is pushing away from your body to stop the overflexing. It's a really good way as well to transition from the drill to the real thing without the floaty on your arm. So if I take this off for a second, I now don't have anything stopping me. Of course, if I didn't have the right feel in my backswing, I could easily start to overflex again. So now you know that it's the right arm or the trail arm that's responsible for doing most of the work here. As you swing back, my sensation is that I keep my right arm much, much straighter than I ordinarily would. Again, it shouldn't be dead straight. There is gonna be some flex in this arm. It's an important power source. But we've already established that if you overflex this, it's going to cause you some problems. So the sensation would be to keep the right arm straighter. I feel like I'm pushing the right arm away from me during the backswing. 
The golfing machine calls that the extensor action, the pushing away of the right arm to keep the left arm straight. So if you think about this as a right arm straight motion, you're probably going to add the structure to your arms in the swing that you need. Right arm pushing away, right arm pushing away, right arm pushing away. Keep the extension pushing action in that right arm. And that's where you're going to start to benefit from really crispy, solid contact. The sort of contact that you get once in a while, but it's too fleeting because your arms are flexing and moving all over the place. A more constant, stable radius of the swing, brought about by having better arm structure, will result in more consistent contact. And we already know that that's the first fundamental of, of golf. We're trying to control the contact so that your strike becomes more repeatable and as a consequence of that the distance you hit the ball becomes more consistent more predictable and with a predictable distance you can start to choose the right club hit the ball closer to the flag and start lowering your scores and before anybody asks down in the comments Rob this is great but does it work for the driver well let's find out shall we exactly the same idea let's put the floaty on let's make some back swings can feel that I'm restricted there to 90 degrees of right arm bend at most and then once again great thing about this drill you can hit balls with the floaty on your arm and get a sense of keeping that arm structure much more solid and much more stable there she goes doesn't get any better than that if you want straight arms in the golf swing you need to think about your right arm or your trail arm being straighter than it currently is and if you need a bit of extra help in terms of feeling what that looks like get yourself one of these stick it on your arm and get a really good sense of what the right amount of trail arm bend actually feels like so there's some help with how to fix those flexing arms in your swing go ahead and give this drill a try I think you'll really like it and if you do get to try it get down in the comments and let me know what you think. The arms will bend and break down in the golf swing for multiple reasons and we don't have time to cover all of those in today's video. But in a previous video I did on a similar subject, I talked about the importance of the right hand and its position on the grip to help with this pushing away feeling, this extensor action of keeping the right arm from over flexing. And I think the grip itself is one of the most overlooked pieces when it comes to looking at why the arms break down. So if you'd like to learn more about how to grip the club correctly to give you the best chance of building this structure into your arms and to help you keep everything a lot more stable, you want to go and check out this video next which talks about the grip in more detail and helps you to understand how to place your hands on the club correctly to achieve optimal results.